A reminder to my fellow watchers, the Marvelous Wave is giving away a 1 to 1 scale replica model of Cap Shield on March 19th. To enter, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And then please go to Twitter and follow at Stupendous Wave and leave a comment tagging at Stupendous Wave with hashtag the Marvelous Wave and tell us who your favorite Marvel villain is. Now that we finally know that Agatha is the one pulling the strings and causing problems for Wanda, just how much of a threat does she pose? Welcome watchers of the Marvel Multiverse. This is the voice of the Marvelous Wave. Let us observe all that occurs. So far, all we know about Agatha's powers is that they seem to be stronger than Wanda's. For the most part, their abilities are the same, telepathy, telekinesis, mind manipulation, and reality bending. We have no idea yet how she gained her abilities or even how long she has been practicing magic. But if she is anything like her comic book counterpart, she's been at it for quite a while. She also seems to be in league with either Mephisto or Cthon, and whoever that is may be the source of her powers but she may also simply be an ally or a servant using her powers to further this being's goals. So far, however, she does seem to be quite a bit different from her comic book doppelganger. One of the first things to keep in mind is that Agatha is more of an ally and a teacher to Scarlet Witch than she is an enemy. She is first introduced interacting with the Fantastic Four, where she accepts the role of becoming the governess and teacher of Reed Richards and Susan Storm's son, Franklin. During her tenure as Franklin's governess, she has to protect Franklin by using her powers, thus revealing to the Fantastic Four that she is a witch. Through this series of events, we learn that she is a leader of a secret town and haven for witches known as New Salem. We also learn that she is hundreds of years old, having lived through the events of the Salem witch trials and escaped to start this community of witches to live in secret. Since she left New Salem though, her son Nicholas Scratch and his children, known as the Salem Seven, took over the town and eventually brought her back and tried her for what Scratch classified as betraying the town, for revealing that she was a witch to the Fantastic Four. When they brought her back though, they also brought back Franklin Richards, which led to the Fantastic Four coming to rescue both Franklin and Agatha. Scratch and the Salem Seven lost this battle where he was banished to an alternate dimension and the Salem Seven were exiled from New Salem. It is after these events that she meets Wanda and eventually accepts the task of Wanda's teacher to help her control her powers. Eventually the Salem Seven returned attempting to take over New Salem once again, burning Agatha at the stake and thinking they killed her. Here we see some magical abilities that Doctor Strange has by escaping death by putting her soul into the astral plane. This is where we begin to see some events unfold that set the stage for Wanda's children and House of M. The Salem Seven absorbs the energy from all the citizens in New Salem, which they are unable to control, resulting in the destruction of the town. Wanda does absorb some of this energy, however, and directed by Agatha and how to use it, conceives and gives birth to hers and Vision's children. Agatha would later return alive and well to once again help Wanda as her sons begin to exhibit odd behavior and are eventually reabsorbed into Mephisto. This leads to Agatha mind wiping Wanda to protect her and the world from Wanda's grief. Eventually Wanda does confront her about the missing memories of her sons, leading to a confrontation that leads to Agatha's death by Wanda somehow removing her immortality. This might be where we start seeing connections between the comics and WandaVision. Through most of these stories, you can tell that Agatha is one of the most powerful witches in the world, and after living hundreds of years and practicing magic all that time, it's no surprise. She has powers to cheat death, a black cat named Ebony, which is a familiar that can turn into a giant panther. And she can even call upon extra-dimensional energies, much like Doctor Strange and other Marvel sorcerers. She is a force to be reckoned with, and plays a large part in Wanda's story, and she seems like she could still fill some of these roles later in WandaVision's story. So far in the show, Agatha seems to have no good intentions for Wanda. She always seemed a little suspect, appearing when needed, but also whenever something goes wrong. She puts up the facade of a friend just to get close to Wanda to mess up her life. With her powers appearing to work in the same way as Wanda's and with similar abilities, we may already have an idea of what she can do. But with what we know about her powers in the comics, she really could be so much stronger than Wanda. At least right now. If it does turn out that Agatha is just as old as she is in the comics, somehow finding a way to be immortal, 
than she has had many lifetimes to hone her skills, but also time to watch Wanda from the shadows. On top of this, if she is from Salem, could Westview even turn out to be some sort of new Salem for the MCU that Wanda stumbled into or was guided to by Agatha? What was Agatha doing in the town before Wanda came, or did they arrive at the same time? As for Agatha's powers, could she express some abilities that Wanda could one day possess but does not have at this moment? For example, could she have magic similar to Doctor Strange, possibly utilizing an astral form to escape damage or death near the end of the season? She also seems to be able to manipulate reality with a lot more control, and this may possibly lead to her revealing that Senior Scratches, and possibly even Evan Peters, are her son Nicholas Scratch in disguise. And to have such a powerful familiar as Ebony, could this black cat make an appearance, or has it been switched out for Senior Scratches? And although she has been an antagonist, by the end of the season, there could be a possibility that she will seek redemption and possibly even offer to help Wanda hone her newfound powers. Although this story and the fans probably won't give Agatha that chance, especially after killing Sparky, Agatha clearly knows more about magic and would be a good choice to help Wanda learn more. Right now, Agatha is clearly stronger and has been manipulating events from the start. So in the end, she will propose a major problem for Wanda, Vision, and Monica in the upcoming episodes. But it would be interesting to see her have a change of heart and become an ally and teacher to Wanda. She has been a friend to some extent, and this could mean she does feel something for Wanda. But in the end, it is likely just an act. How powerful do you think Agatha really is, and how much of a threat does she pose? Do you think she'll become an ally, or just stick around long enough to welcome an even bigger villain? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and please like this video and subscribe to Assemble and join our team, and have a great day!